Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com and quantumgravityresearch.org. So I have a box here. It came, for, came from lookingforheat.com. So this video is just a short little video of showing you what this place has to offer. This is about uh, low energy nuclear reaction uh, test devices. So the idea is to make a small kit affordable and people can actually go to this website, they can buy their things. And basically, um, they sent me one to show you because they find it important to have a very basic unit that anyone can afford for a relatively cheap price, uh, as cheap as they can possibly make it. And basically, at the end of the day, hopefully you have a small reaction chamber uh, that you can use and test. So let's see what's in this box. I gotta get a knife. Okay, so let's unbox this thing. Basically, I'm making this video because I find it very important to share this type of information if I can. So these people basically sent me this and they decided to let me show you exactly what's in here. So let's have a look. I put some gloves on because uh, if there's insulation in here, I don't like to get insulation on me. So we've got a really nice envelope with uh, instructions and some, some cards in there. So let's just set it all out. We'll be, be gentle with it. Oh, got a calendar. Got some wire. Looks like a controller. Piece of plastic. Guess I should move you guys back a little, huh? Another box. Controller. Packed well, nice work. Another one. All right, and here's the here's the reactor itself. Two quartz tubes with the uh, heating elements in there. And that's it. Cool. It came well. It was packed well. Looks like this is just the stuff I see flaking off, but man, I hate insulation. It drives me nuts, so I can grab some gloves anyway. Okay. Some of this might be goodies just for me. I don't know. I think that's just a calendar. We can set it aside. So I guess what I should do first is uh, open up everything. Why would I read the instructions, right? Oh, I'll probably end up time lapsing this video, but let's pop everything out. So we've got a nice controller. This is a um, solid state relay. I believe these are, da, 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 da. I don't know what these are at the moment. Some sort of an output controller, power output amplifier of some kind, a uh, motor controller. So there are two of these. I'll have to look and see what goes to the kit and what goes to something else because there might be a, a few different things in here. All right, we have ourselves a thermal controller for uh, for our thermal couples. Looks like we have a temperature controller. Nice temperature controller. Compact little unit. Switch mode power supply. Look at that. 36 volt output, 11 amp. It's a nice, nice supply. I actually am looking for one just like this. Whoa, very interesting. And what is in here? 
if I can get this open carefully. All right, this is all of our all of our goodies. Lots of goodies in there. Thermal couple. Thermal couple, some electrical connectors. Got ourselves a nice plug. Unfortunately, that won't fit at the 110, so a note, note to self, include 100 and uh, 20 volt. This will do 120 and 240, so we're good on the power supply, but this guy needs to be the other way around. Small funnel, some other things. Uh, there's our insulation. That's the stuff I don't want to touch. Uh, yeah, so we got all our hardware here, basically. So, I guess we'll break out the instructions, see if we can assemble this thing. So briefly, I'm going to pull this block apart. I just want to look at the coils on here. So this is a nickel chromium wire on a quartz tube. This is the heating element. You can see what they look like. And then there's two of those. And then on the back side, they've inserted the thermocouples with a t high temperature compound already set in there. The hole's already drilled in there. So uh, that's really nice. This is the, the part that you don't have to worry about, basically. This part usually always stays in here. I pulled it out just to, to give you guys a, a view of what it looks like. Okay, so after about an hour and a half or so, maybe, maybe a little over an hour, I was able to construct this thing. Um, I went ahead and got my own power cord, no problem. I do need to make sure though that this is switched to a 110, I'll have to do that real quick. But uh, yeah, wasn't so bad. I did the uh, drilling and filing method as suggested in the, uh, in the documents here and that worked fine. This guy's in there fine. This I used a couple of screws I had on my own. Same thing here. Some uh, double sticky tape for this guy. And uh, I did have to wire the thermal couple, which was sort of a pain in the butt. That's a tricky one, but no problem. Got it. And uh, this isn't fastened and this isn't fastened. But yeah, that's basically uh, the whole thing. And they recommended a piece of MDF, which is sort of a flame retardant but this is all I had, uh, so it's what I got. This is just sitting on here, this sits on this aluminum frame, which is already built and put together for you. My board's not very flat, but that's my problem. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so now we move on to the calibration stage. I don't know what to expect, and we'll do that next. So I haven't even plugged it in. I'm gonna continue reading the instructions. The only thing I recommend um, is a schematic. These pictures are fine, but 
I kind of have an idea of how this is supposed to be connected because of my background, but maybe users would not. So including a schematic probably would be helpful. Anyway, other than that, it wasn't too difficult. I was a little leery about cutting this at first, but this polycarbonate, it's not too bad. It's pretty easy to cut. Okay, calibration time. Oh, now I'm officially done. I completely, completely forgot to hook up the output wire, so the output uh, to the heating elements, so a connector in the front, on the back, and to the PWM controller. So this does put out a square wave, which is uh, could be a crucial point to uh, doing what we want to do. We'll see. Anyway, so now it's now it's complete. Now we can move on to calibration.